What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of career mode this is episode number three and we start today's episode off by completing another signing for Watford our fourth one overall and our third permanent signing Riedeval is going to come in from Ajax for five million pounds he's an 18 year old centre back and he's 75 overall already with some decent stats can also play holding mid and left back I do believe he is a left sided player uh, left foot player I should say and Riedeval comes in for five million pounds and I think that is an absolutely fantastic deal once once again, as you'll see by his valuation, it is over it by £700,000, but to be 18 years old and already 75 overall, it's it's just meeting the criteria once again that I discussed in the last episode and in the first episode. I want players that are good enough to go right into the first team and also develop for the future. He's only 18 years old, he's going to have some very decent potential and he's already going to be our second highest rated centre back and because he's left footed as well, he'll play on the left side with uh, Proddle on the right side. Those two be our starting centre-back partnership this year. It's just the ideal signing for us, and that's why I'm so glad I've got him in. And so for £5 million, I mean, I said in the last episode I wasn't, you know, wanting to spend too much on him. I probably wouldn't have got, would have gone as high as 7 or £7.5 million, but for £5 million, just seven hundred grand over his valuation, that's a brilliant signing. And it probably will be our last signing as well of the summer transfer window. Of course, we have our first Premier League game in today's episode, but I already like the side I've got right now, and I'd rather keep some cash until January as well and assess the squad then. Still, as you can see, it is time for our first Premier League game with Watford. Of course, promoted from the Championship last season. We've taken over at Vicarage Road, but our first game is going to be away from home at Everton here at Goodison Park. As you can see, this is the side I went with, showed you it briefly a minute ago. It's got some very decent young players in there, very decent young talent, and of course, some good potential for the future. But just because that's true, it still means that we have to do the job on the pitch as well and make sure that we can keep Watford in the Premier League and hopefully achieve that mid table finish that the board wants. So, coming into our first game away at Goodison Park against Martinez's men, obviously, Everton a very decent side, but for me, I still sense we could possibly win this game. So, right from the beginning, despite us probably being considered the underdogs, I was going in search of the first chance and possibly the first goal, and it came from kickoff. Bertrand Traore, a new signing going for goal but Tim Howell making the save and Everton getting the ball away so right from kickoff the mentality was simple get the ball forward and try and get some early chances exactly what we were doing two brilliant ones in the opening six minutes but Tim Howard again with another fantastic save and the American keeps it at nil nil Everton had their first chance to game here in the 11th minute would also hit the woodwork as well Romelu Lukaku's header hits the post and finally as it comes to Gareth Barry the shot goes over the bar and behind for a goal kick so still goalless here but a very exciting start here at Goodison Park another great chance for us here is Nathan Aki finds Victor Ibarbo down the left hand side. Nice little ball roll to beat his man. Eventually Delafeo makes the tackle but it comes back to Ibarbo who crosses the ball in. The header is won in the centre by Gerardo but once again Tim Howard with an amazing save keeps it at nil nil. What a start he was having to this game and in the 30th third minute another great chance here. Troy Deeney gets played forward but once again Tim Howard thwarts us and it is still goal. So Howard has the record for the most amount of saves in a single World Cup game. He was going for the record for the most amount of saves in a single Premier League game already here. It was still nil-nil and he was playing out of his skin. But in the 39th minute, Nathan Aki gets on the ball and finds Hurado, who plays it across towards Ruben Loftus cheek here. Lovely ball to find Virgin Traore, picks out Troy Deeney, fake shots around John Stones, and finally we break the deadlock here and make it Everton nil, Watford one. And it's Troy Deeney who gets the goal, the skipper for Watford. He's been here since 2010. It was a really nice move, too. We got ourselves the ball forward there with a great ball by Loftus cheek, and Traore could have controlled it right on himself instead of loading it towards Troy Deeney, quick little fake shot and a brilliant, brilliant finish by the skipper on the left foot, curls it past Tim Howard who was already looking on course for man the match at this stage, but finally he's beaten, really good finish by our number 9 and it's Everton nil, Watford 1 as we can celebrate with the first goal of the game and the first goal of our season so Troy Deeney grabs the goal and does make it 1-0 to Watford and at half times you can see with the stats, it was much deserved as well, 5 shots, 5 on target yes Everton had a tinsy tiny bit more possession but we were playing pretty well in the first half and if it wasn't for Howard's heroics, we'd probably be two or three goals up. Still, in the 50th minute, Everton had a good chance to equalise here. Ross Barkley was denied by a good stop by Jack Butland as our young goalkeeper turns it behind for a corner. It was still 1-0. And just past the Almark, another great chance for Everton here. Barkley plays it out wide towards Kevin Morales. The Belgian on the ball, cuts past his man, goes for goal. It takes a deflection. Butland makes a fantastic reaction save, but unfortunately for us, it falls to Ross Barkley at the far post. And Barkley heads it past our goalkeeper and into the back of the net. So the, the save by Butland was superb after the deflection there. 
there. He saw it late, but unfortunately for us, Barkley wins the header and puts it past our young goalkeeper and into the back of the net. So Everton won, Watford won, and the home side are back on level terms. But in the 76th minute here, another great chance for us is Troy Deeney gets onto the ball and the goal scorer finds Ruben Loftus cheek. Great ball out wide towards Victory Barbo. Really good chance here as the Colombian sprints on on goal, goes for goal as well, but it's straight at Tim Howard, and it's a simple save for the American. That was a great chance there, but all pace from Ibarbo, but no end product, and it is still 1-1. But from Howard's kick out, we win the ball back here, and as Nathan Ake picks the ball up here, he plays that wide towards Victor Ibarbo, inside towards our goal scorer, Dini. Dini finds Barami, great through ball into Loftus cheek, he offloads to Traore, quick little Ronaldo chop, great strike, it hits the post, but it comes down in the centre, and who turns it in from four yards out with 11 minutes to go? Ruben Loftus cheek, the man on loan from Chelsea. I signed him on loan, I threw him straight in the first team. He's 64 overall. There are better players on the bench. There are better players in the reserves, but I trust this young man. I think he's got what it takes to be a star in his Watford side and to score us possibly the winner with 11 minutes to go, making his competitive debut for Watford. Well, what a signing this could prove to be. On loan for two years, a future fee arranged of £1 million. I'd take that right now if Mourinho would let me. Absolutely fantastic scenes at Goodison Park as the youngster scores as the goal that could possibly win us the game on the first game of the season. In the 90th minute, Everton had one final chance. Leighton Baines wastes his free kick though and he goes harmlessly behind for a goal kick and it is how the game finishes. Everton won, Watford 2. What a result on the opening day of the season. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is the hero scoring us that late winner as we get the win by two goals to one as you can see Everton won a possession battle but in this game you know I felt we did deserve it you know 10 shots 8 of which on target Howard was insane in this game but my man the match was of course the game winner Ruben Loftus-Cheek yes of course it was hard for him to miss from that range but either way I'm still so glad he tucked it in and we do win the game by two goals to one so what a fantastic start that is winning on the opening game of the season Loftus-Cheek the man on low from Chelsea getting us the winning goal with just 11 minutes to go. Absolutely fantastic result and I felt we deserved it as well. Still following out, we had rejects for uh, players like Michael Keane and Sam Byron from Burnley and Leeds but Birmingham did accept a £1 million plus Lloyd Dyer bid for Damari Gray. Said before, I really do rate Damari Gray as a young winger and he can also play for the middle as well so that could be a really good signing for us and also a bid came in for Craig Cathcart here, the former Blackpool and Manchester United centre-back. Uh, Norwich want to take him for 950 grand. I said match £1.2 million and you can take him and we'll wait and see what Alex Neal says. So not against selling uh, Cathcart now. Now we've brought in uh, Redevald. We'll have to wait and see what Norwich say. Still for our second and final game of today's episode here, we take on West Bromwich Albion for our first home game of the Premier League season. And after beating Everton away from home, the confidence was certainly flowing here at Vicarage Road, and we were sensing two wins from two. West Bromwich Albion were the opponents. They were the side I started my career mode with last year in FIFA 15. So I'd obviously know about some of the players they have. But either way, as Tony Pulis' side come and take us on the Vicarage Road, we were definitely sensing another win and making it six points from our opening two games. The first chance did fall to West Brom though and Jack Butler made a great save to deny Craig Gardner from range. Good strike there but a good stop by our young goalkeeper and it is still nil-nil. And from the corner, Chris Brunt is standing over in a Northern Irish left midfield across the ball and towards James Chester. Butler gets the punch away though and it comes to Birch and Traore. Traore takes it around Claudio Jakob here with a step over, plays it through towards Troy Deeney. Great chance on the break. Traore finds Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek finds Victory Barbo. One-on-one -on -one with Pocket Nolly beats him with the ball roll and goes for goal Lindegar makes a great save it comes to Traore Traore strikes it and again Lindegar makes a great save Traore gets it back and finds the right back crosses the ball in Dini wins the header and once again you guessed it for the third time Lindegar makes a fantastic save and West Brom get the ball away so I was thinking not again you know we just played against Tim Howard who was insane three great saves in quick succession there by Anders Lindegar and the former United goalkeeper keeps it at 0-0 but Jack Butler once again proving that even though the other goalkeeper's playing well he has to play well too good stop there from the header and also saves the follow-up shot too and it is still nil-nil so both goalkeepers looking very very good early on in this game on the stroke of half time you see Rondon going for goal there from range but can't hit the target and he goes behind for a goal kick and at half time as you can see West Brom were dominating the possession battle and the shots were quite equal as things stood but they were playing a little bit better than us but it was still nil-nil good chance here to win the second half as Gerardo finds victory Barbo down the left hand side here takes it around his man and goes for goal but it's a big big block by Gareth McCauley and he gets it behind for a corner and sadly it was how the game would finish 
a 0-0 draw. So a goalless draw in our second game of the season. It's good to get our first clean sheet. I'll say that much. But honestly, after the win against Everton, I was hoping for another win there. Maybe a little bit too ambitious. But either way, West Brom did dominate the possession battle. We got the shot battle back in our favour in the second half. But regardless, Lindegaard was my man in the match for a few big saves. And probably deservedly so. So either way, an unbeaten start from our first two games. You'd certainly take that. 2-1 win against Everton and a 0-0 draw against West Bromwich Albion. Definitely some positives to take from those two games. You know, four points after the first two games, you'd certainly take that. And to end the episode, we see that Damari Gray comes in for £1 million plus Lloyd Dyer, which I think is a really good deal. He could be a good signing for the future. But that does end the episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the third episode of Career Mode, then please do leave a like. It's much appreciated. It really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very soon.